Hello, and welcome to another worth of a video, and I know I haven't done this in ages, but, uh, well, this is purely and simply because of this absolute uh, gem of an airplane. Uh, the VE Day, what, 2020 VE Day, Swordfish Mark II. <laughs> and, um, well, to just put it bluntly, it's horrible. Uh, to get it, what you have to do is... Uh, what is it? You have three options. You can either... There we go. You can either get 75 kills, all player controlled, uh, in arcade, 38 in realistic and sim, uh, get 15 wins, 60% activity or higher, and all of these are tier 3, by the way. For the uh, decal, you need tier 2, and I think for boats, it's also tier 2. Uh, but planes and tanks are tier 3. Uh, or tier 3 and higher, rather. Uh, 15 tons of bombs. And it actually says that there, yeah. Air vehicles, rank 3 of rank three and higher. Uh, 11 kills in one game. Uh, 4 in realistic, 2 in sim. And get 15 assists. Uh, you get 3 of those, and you get this absolute gem of an airplane. Um, in the uh, loosest possible definition of the word. And, well, it's a swordfish. <laughs> Fortunately, at least, it has... Um, it gets a different... Or rather, it doesn't get a different, but it gets extra bomb load option. Uh, as well as the loadout that you see here, which is eight rockets. Uh, you get eight RP-3 high explosive, and you also get eight RP-3H... Uh, what, eight AP uh, rockets if you so desire. Uh, the other two bomb load improvements are 6250 uh, six pounders, if they were kilos that'd be hilarious. And I'm going to put it on hold just for a quick second, and yes. <laughs> I did say I had rockets. <laughs> uh. The other bomb load option uh, that's an improvement is the... Uh, it gets the same bomb load as the wear away of uh, two... what is it? Two 500 pounders and two 250 pounders. Uh, which, you know, that or the two... or the, the six 250s, you know, not a bad bomb load. For this tier, anyway. Um, unfortunately, of course, it's let down by the fact that... <laughs> well... Uh, with the rockets, anyway, this thing is so OP. The the swordfish, it needs a nerf. Like, so, so amazing. Like, look at this. There you go, just fucking TBF Avenger, one hit kill. Like, this is disgusting. Why is this at 1.0? Why is this in the game? Why did Gage Eagles put this in the game? OP confirmed, please nerf. <laughs> 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 um, joking aside, it's absolutely horrible. Um, it's a swordfish, so it takes about two hits and it blows up. It has one gunner, which is, you know, it's a Lewis gun, so it's terrible. Uh, it has a single 7.7mm machine gun sticking out the front, which is worthless. Um, especially because it only has 600 rounds, it's not like it would be worthwhile anyway, even with 1,200. Um, it does have an arrestor hook, which makes it a little bit easier to land on carriers. Not like landing this thing on a carrier would be overly difficult in the first place. Uh, it's slow as all hell. Um, I think... I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but I think the redline speed was like 200 miles an hour, or 210, or something like that in a dive. Basically, if you go any, if you point the nose of this thing down, you'll rip the wings and arcade it and realistic and sim. Uh, it does have flaps, as you can see there. However, they are the ailerons. Uh, it only has landing flaps as well. It does not have combat flaps or takeoff. It's only landing, and they are the ailerons. 
<coughs> and before you ask, yes, yes, I am going to do this again. <laughs> uh, just as a spoiler, I'm going to ace this thing. In one, it, I'm going to get an ace with only the rockets in this thing. Um, and the last two kills, well, I won't spoil them, but I, I, I will spoil it in the fact that, yes, I do in fact get five kills in this thing. Uh, I did die once, unfortunately, because I actually killed myself on that F2 and F2, the F2222, as you saw earlier. <coughs> Got a little bit too close and before I fired the rockets, and I ended up killing myself in the process. Which is fine. You know, this thing is... It's a 1.0. A 1.0 premium, who cares? Um, you know, the most you're ever going to pay for this thing is 410 credits. Like... <laughs> Whoop-de-doo. You can buy, like... A one-thousandth of a jet with that. <laughs> um... So, as far as overall ground attack capabilities, I think it's probably, you know, it's a swordfish, what do you think? I mean, what do you want? It's got okay bomb loads, um, but it's still a swordfish, so it's still terrible. It can't turn, or rather, no, it can turn, but it has horrible energy retention, as you can kind of tell here. I mean, I'm going 150 miles an hour in level flight. <laughs> and this isn't even the heaviest bomb load option. You know, if I wanted to if I wanted to stick the 2500s and the 250s on here, this thing wouldn't be going anywhere. Um, and here we go for kill number four. And there you go. <laughs> Uh, I do kind of want to take this thing into sim, to be honest. Uh, so, yes, that's kill number four, and unfortunately I took a fuel leak, which, you know, boo-hoo. Um, I don't remember... Yeah, so the, the minimum fuel tank, by the way, is uh, 44 minutes. Not like it really matters. Uh, at least not in arcade or realistic. Uh, in sim, though, uh, I, you know, 44 minutes of fuel. That is probably going on the on the light side for one of these things. Um, now, is it worth the grind? In my opinion, if you want to just use it as a meme plane, the way I'm doing it here in arcade. Um, or, you know, if you want to just have it for the memes, then, yeah, it's definitely fucking worth the grind. I was laughing my ass off the entire time during this game. And in fact, the swordfish is so overpowered that the very next game I played, the game crashed. <laughs> I was just flying along in level flight, and the game crashed. So there you go. Even Gaijin knows this thing is broken as all hell. <laughs> why did they I, I honestly wonder why they gave us this thing it is absolutely atrocious like look at this I'm in like a 5 degree climb and I'm losing speed like nobody's business and there we go <laughs> rocket kills are the best kills <laughs> and I think about going out to the B5N but the game ends before I can get up there so, yeah, um, it's a swordfish. Is it worth the grind? If you want an actual competent airplane, then it's a swordfish. What are you thinking? Why would you want to grind out a swordfish? <laughs> like, even the, even the one in the British tech tree that you get for free is not worth the grind. Um, and that thing's only like 4,000 XP. You can get that in like one game. So, 75 kills, uh, 11 in one game, and 15 assists. Is this worth it? No. <laughs> Is it worth 
waiting for this to go on the market. If you really want this for the collector's value, uh, pff, that's up to you. This thing is probably going to go for like a buck. If, if not, I think the highest that this thing will probably sell for is like five bucks. It's not worth it at all, if you can sell it anyway. I've, I've heard rumors that you can't actually sell it. Um, but, you know, whatever. If Gaijin does end up putting this up on the, on the Gay Jiggles stock market, like, you know, five bucks. That's my estimate. Um, and honestly, it's not even worth it. Like, this thing isn't worth any time or money at all. In, you know, if you take it seriously, it's horrible. If you want to do this kind of shit, though, just strap the rockets to it and go around doing stupid shit like this, uh, yeah, it's absolutely hilarious. It's still horrible, and it's still absolutely painful as all hell to fly, but it's hilarious, and the amount of fun you'll have just derping everything into oblivion with the rockets is, in my opinion, it's worth it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you go. Enjoy your VE day, uh, 2020, um, present from Gay Jiggles. <laughs> what the hell were they thinking? And, um, go, go spend your time somewhere else. <laughs> don't get this thing. Like, unless, like I said, unless you want it for the memes. Don't get this thing. It's terrible. Uh, anyway. See you next time. Have a good one.